Off low Friday night, Sports Show, Jace. Um, the cricket season. Uh, I'm going to come back to the discussion about interleague football across Victoria. But I know you love your Sheffield Shield cricket, and uh, gee, Brisbane uh, is the venue, and the Queenslanders look like they're going to maybe beat New South Wales. Well, they do. Uh, first of all, Flo Man, can we just say you could be forgiven for thinking that uh, the domestic cricket season is over given the lack of promotion of this game around the country. But it isn't. Uh, and this should have been really promoted and, and pushed and whatnot, given that New South Wales, Queensland, the old rivalry from Rugby League, our New South Welshman will be loving this at the moment, but you won't be loving the score at the moment. It is all Queensland in this final. They will win the Shield. Don't worry about that. Uh, they bowled first, and New South Wales just could not deal. 143 all out. Michael Nisa took five for interestingly enough one of his five was uh josh hazelwood Mm. and he also got nathan lyon out now um i reckon those are the two bowlers he's up against to try and get a test berth (laughs) yeah i think Um, you're right (laughs) given that uh we could be arguing the point about mitchell stark uh, given that uh, he hasn't done much with the ball in this final either but look michael nisa is just knocking on the door five for 27 from 13.2 overs Put them in the box seat in reply. Last score, two for 200 odd. Mar- Marnus Labashane, another century. Forget about it. It's over. <laughs> uh, but I have to, I, I've got one of the really sad stories in cricket, I think. Yep. I'm going to take you back to international cricket in the 90s. Mm-hmm. One of the players I admired most growing up was a gentleman from Zimbabwe by the name of Heath Streak. Oh, yes. Now, yeah. uh, I remember watching Matthew Hayden just butcher him to all parts of the Oval at Adelaide to make 380 one day, but he just kept running in big heart, heart as big as Farl Apple, so he thought. As it turns out, he's been done for match fixing. I could not believe this, and I think it's a very, very sad day in cricket that this man has been done for that. So five different charges. Uh, he's been banned for life, as far as I know. Uh, eight years, sorry. Uh, Zimbabwe have banned him for just eight years. Should have been life any time you get mm. done for spot fixing. And I think that's what we're dealing with here. He's admitted five breaches of the ICC anti-corruption code and agreed to the sanction, which was revealed back on Wednesday. So this is uh, just awful stuff and would not have picked this man for that in no. a million years. No, I remember him with Andy Flower batting mm. and Heath Street bowling as Zimbabwe's first tour as an official uh, tour to Australia and the tests they played. It was just great to see them uh, out in international cricket and uh, they certainly added a lot of colour too to it. Uh, but uh, just so disappointing to hear about what has happened here. I'll tell you what, though, not disappointing about Manus Labashane's 136 as we uh, have been speaking. It is still actually being played when we recorded this earlier on. End up with anything. Yep, yeah, it could. Oh, uh, tell you what, they're going to be well, well in front uh, after the end of day two. It's a five-day game too. So, and what about what about the bowling figures for New South Wales? Bearing in mind, how about this: Mitchell Stark, Josh Hazelwood, and Nathan Lyon all bowling for New South Wales. Mitch Stark has been fairly economic. He's got one for twenty-three. Hazelwood one for thirty-five. Nathan Lyon one for seventy-one, struggling. Mm. And uh, the rest of the bowlers have been absolutely butchered to all parts of the ground, so forget about it. And, of course, Mitch Swepson bowling didn't take a wicket. Um, Obviously, the pace bowlers did. Wildermuth um, uh, did take four wickets in addition to Nice's five. Those two nine wickets between the Mm. two of them. Hey, let's have a look at something interesting here. And this is um, interleague football. Yes. I want to ask you about this. One game of football has been played, and Sunraysia have actually named their interleague squad. I mean, is that you know, how do you kind of work out who's in great form at the moment? I mean, are well, you, you don't. You, you can't possibly be picking it after one round of matches on form. Well, you're not. You're picking names, uh, really, at that point, um, unless you've got an idea who's been training the house down. But it seems a little bizarre. I mean, May's still a way off. Mm. I mean, it's not that far away when you look at it. No. Uh, but the, I mean, one of the one of the teams had the buy in round one, did they not? Who was that? Because they've had players picked out of that who have literally not kicked the ball in anger. Yeah, well, that that is the point that we're making here, that uh, there is just not enough form to be able to be picking a side. One of those players uh, that has not taken to the field is from Owen United, Bradley Valance. He was picked in their uh, round one uh, clash, but he actually uh, withdrew 
through injury. He's the co-coach of Yeoman United, and um, he will be um, not playing this weekend and by only playing his first match of football the following weekend. And then we talk about being prepared um, to uh, go. Obviously, he's a terrific footballer and uh, is you know, going to be in their uh, mix. Um, Stanbrook, um, their big forward, uh, who didn't touch it uh, in the first game, uh, he's in the squad. Dallas Wilsmore, who, of course, is uh, a uh, former West Adelaide and Hawthorne player, is in the, the squad. And uh, A. Morris, um, their two, and Dean Staunton is part of the squad. Coglin uh, will lead that team from Irimple, and I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of interest in it because they play North Central. This is what I wanted to actually ask is, with COVID-19 and the whole thing of 2020 and no football, a lot of people are saying that there may not be much interleague play this year, but there at least has been an agreement between Sunraysia and North Central to play, and I'm really looking forward to that huge clash on May the 15th. Am as well. Should qualify a couple of things here. First of all, uh, this is the training squad. It's not the final 25 or whatnot that will represent uh, Sunraysia in that game. So, And it does. So there is a disclaimer there that the squad can be added to. So if a player is playing out of their skin in the first couple of rounds, I guess they could technically come into the squad. But the reality is, whilst you could argue the point that no one's kicked the ball in anger yet and maybe there's only been one round, I think when you get to your best 40 players in the comp, you're going to get 30 of them right. So it's probably fair game. All right, it is going to be interesting to see interleague football. Who plays who? And we've already got one game that we're now aware of and that we're going to follow through as other competitions um, put their teams out. And we'll give you all the details right here on the Friday Night Sports Show.